In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a data capture sheet. You have already collected your data for your study and it is now time to capture it on an Excel spreadsheet. After your data are captured, you can proceed to perform the statistical analysis. Open a new Excel workbook and use the first column for your participant number. This is the number that you gave each participant to honour your ethical requirements of anonymity. You can use any system you like, call it P1234 or maybe Control1234 or Case1234. Any system you like will work. List your variables in the first row. And say you have measured something like accuracy as well. What about transversus abdominis thickness? Transversus abdominis is a muscle. We've measured thickness with ultrasound and we've measured it on the right. Now these variable names ideally need to be no more than 12 characters and they should be one word. And do the same for on the red left, transversus abdominis thickness on the left. Just be careful because in a few months time you may forget what these variable names stand for. In order to remember, copy them and create a new sheet. Now paste the list of variables by transposing them. Here you can write the full meaning of the variable name out. Go back, back to your original sheet. You will also may want to code variables such as male and female. Nought, you can state naught for male and then one for female, but in a few months' time you, are, you may forget which one was naught and which one was one. Again, note this on your sheet. Some statistical pro uh, programs can code this for you, but this is just a simple way to remember. And you can enter your participant 1's data in this way. Let's say accuracy was a, was a score between 1 and 3. Transverse abdominus thickness is in millimeters. Let's say 50, mi 50 millimeters, 54 millimeters. And in this way, you can now capture your data for your participants. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.